What's up, everyone? John Renger from Techno Buffalo here. LG just unveiled the G Flex 2, and I figured what better way to learn about the phone than the gentleman who actually announced the phone uh, to the world. Uh, I am here with Frank Lee, who actually has a device with him. I do, I do. Here it is. So yeah. can you tell us a little bit uh, about the device and where you guys saw room for improvement uh, versus the first generation? I mean, there was so much excitement last year when we unveiled this, and consumers just simply told us, uh, full HD, please. So that's the first thing we did. Uh, brought that into uh, the phone, and then we brought it down to about 5.5. That, that's important. I think that sure. has has broader appeal and it's funny right now 5.5 is a sweet spot at one time uh I don't know, you know, it's rather large, but now it's sort of standard. So 5.5 is uh, is average. Go back a few years, look oh. like a monstrous device. It's incredible. So one of the cool things about the phone, I guess, in a myriad of cool things, uh, SD card supports here, but now support for two terabytes of storage. That's right, and I mean that's great of the industry, you know, overall. So that ability now to um, put that so the consumer is in control of their content and just making it easier and and not creating confusing plans or confusing sure. options for consumers. So you can just put in your own micro SD card and you're good to go. So now if consumers want to download the Library of Congress six times, there's there's yeah. plenty of room for they're, it. They're good to go. <laughs> so one of the, I think the flagship features, aside from the curved design, is the back. Yes. Uh, the ability to heal, and that's been improved as well versus the first gen, correct? Yes, and of course, I mean, it, it, this device for us was like a proof of concept for us. It's a stress test of, hey, we have all these core technologies, and rather than just building prototypes and showing conceptual ideas, can we go to market with an action? So uh, the self-healing back was important because people were telling us that, you know, that, you know I, yeah. I, I don't want it to mar, I don't want it to pick up fingerprints. So we've seen that with like the G3, how that's improved in that place. But for the, uh, the self-healing technology, working with our partners, we've increased the capability. So you're looking at now in seconds. In fact, the video that I showed today, that test mm -hmm. uh, video, we actually had to uh, cool down the room just so you could see the scratches being mm -hmm. created by that brass brush. And can you explain the self-healing so people can understand what that actually means? Yeah, absolutely. So what's happening is the material that the, this back is made of has a lot of hydrogen atoms, okay? And so I'm gonna put this one down now. And what happens is when um, when, when there's like a, a scratch, what happens to the surface is there's an indentation at a very you know uh, mm -hmm. microscopic level. So if you and I were hydrogen bonds and we get pushed to one another, Hydrogen has a natural property of okay. equidisting itself from one another. So once we get crushed together, it's like, no, I, hey, give me my space. And we all begin to push. Yeah. And eventually, we push back out. And that, that dent or some scratch gets pushed back by the material itself. So therefore, and I want a disclaimer, yeah. is if you scratch the point the material is coming off, then the sure. healing process is going to be limited. But uh, natural scuffs, wear and tear, uh, you know, minor drops, all that sort of stuff, you should see repair that you, you wouldn't be able to enjoy with a regular phone. And a lot of these phones that have unique designs, usually there's a sacrifice on power, sacrifice on performance. Mm. You guys, this is, if you turn this phone into really the next generation of super phones, being powered by the Snapdragon 810 chip, which I'm pretty sure is more powerful than my laptop like two years oh, ago. Oh, I know, it's crazy. I mean, it's 64-bit <laughs> octa-core. Uh, was that a, a difficult thing to, to get into the device, or was that sort of on your plans from day one? Well, absolutely. I mean, that, that was our ambition, right? We really wanted to go, hey, this is not just going to be this uh, prototype phone that we just sort of throw yeah. out there. We want this to be a legitimate phone that people are going to want. And, and so we definitely partnered with Qualcomm. How do we make sure that we could take advantage uh, of your 64-bit octa-core? And so we even had to uh, change the chipset uh, architecture of our display to be able to fully take advantage of what the Qualcomm chipset can do for us. So it, it's a lot of collaboration, um, and we're excited because it's not so much about, oh, it's the fastest yeah. and all that, but it's just demonstrating that hey, LG wants to continually, consistently consistently bring the best product, not just new and faster, bigger, but bring the best to the market and legitimately allow the G Flex 2 to get a chance to be that flagship premium product with mass appeal. Sure. And that curved screen, this is just looking really cool, has a few advantages. And certainly it's it's ergonomic for the back pocket, you <laughs> right, know, I, I think right. a lot of people are excited about, but also brings a couple other cool things to the table. Am I telling us a little bit about that? Absolutely. Right off the bat, durability, right? So the fact that it, because of its form factor, it already will begin to disperse any impact over the full uh, surface of the, of the screen. Um, plus the fact that uh, we have put our own treatment on that glass to improve the strength by 20%. Um, right off the bat, it, there's an aesthetic Sorry. perspective, right? Um, that, it hasn't been a, there, it's been a long time since a product, a piece of glass and plastic and composite metals have gotten consumers excited. It hasn't, I haven't been excited. Now with the G Flex 2, uh, from a color standpoint, from a design standpoint, um, it, it it allows people like especially you to go, wow, you know things that I've heard about prototypes, concepts, they can really be coming to market soon. They're not future, yeah. they're near future stuff now. Excellent. Thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you. My pleasure. This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the all new G Flex 2 from LG. Life's good. Thank you guys for checking out our CES 2015 coverage. If you want to see more, hit the big subscribe link down below.